guys, welcome to yet another episode of my let's play of the full version of the crew. And in this episode, we're gonna be customizing the Roof 3004K into Perspec. This thing looks pretty cool, actually, in Perspec. There's a picture of it. Uh, there's a picture of it in Perspec in a video that I've seen. And it basically looks exactly like this, the one that I've created. I kept that bumper, though. The bumper with those crazy, uh... Yeah, that's a that's the stock bumper basically right there, but some different headlights. Those headlights aren't bad, but I don't I like the stock looks of those headlights. That's a weird looking bumper. Yeah, I just wanted to see what the lights look like. That's all. And it's got a Carrera GT style exhaust thing on the back. I actually was skeptical about getting that bumper at first because I thought it didn't look like the stock variant, but then I actually compared the two of them side by side in the HQ, and it turns out they were actually basically stock, including the, yeah, those are just dumb exhaust right there. It's basically stock, minus the extra front splitter on it, and those little, I forgot what those little kind of side things on the side are. That's a very weird exhaust. It's, it's not that it's weird, I just like the stock variant of the bat, of the exhaust. This one. That one looks okay, but it just... I don't know. There's something I don't like about it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, of course, I forgot that there's no fenders for this one. That's kind of cool, that little side portion there, but I want it to look stock. No wheels for this car. And those mirrors are way too small for this thing. That's just basically the rate spec variant of the mirrors. Now, what surprised me the most with this car is that it has so many spoilers available for this car. I mean, look at it. Look at all the spoilers. I've never seen this many spoilers. I didn't really like any of the spoilers on this car at all. That one was kind of weird. Most of the spoilers just kind of ruin the look of this car. I mean, it looks nice when it's, when it's clean. But I actually settled on... That I settled on. I settled on that. Settled on that one. Late uh, in the end, because I don't know. That's kind of like the only one that I really like. because I like the little portions on the side of it. That one is kind. It's basically a Viper ACR style wing on the back. I just realized that you could buy that with this car. That the wing that has that comes with the Viper SRT 10 is actually not an exact. I guess it's not exactly like the ACR variant of the Viper. I don't know. But yeah, that wing is kind of also weird. It's too small. If this thing is going to have a wing, it's got to be kind of big, in my opinion. I just looked at that. What the heck? I'm just looking at the ones that I think look interesting. And so yeah, that that one I'm going to I'm going to settle with that one. I guess that one looks okay. I mean, it it's kind of like a drift wing in a sense. And that hood, though. Oh my god, look at all the hoods on this thing. Holy cow. Why can't they have the stock hood available for this car? But yeah, I'm going to go with the one that has all those crazy vents on it. That one. Because that one looks like the one from the picture. Then it looks like the one from the picture that I saw of the crew. I might put it up right now or so to show you what it looks like. I don't know. If I can find it, that is. If I can find it, I'll put it up. So, yeah. Actually, hold on. Let me take a look and see if I can find it real fast on Google. Okay, I just spent a few minutes looking on the internet. I paused the recording, the narration for the video, and it turns out I found a picture of the rough. I just searched up the crew rough 3400k and then that popped up as the third image on there and it was black that's the stock bumper like i said so yeah i'm gonna show you the picture of the rough 3400k right about now and so yeah it looks it looks it looks pretty close to mine in the crew and so yeah just looking at the interior options to see if i can find anything that looks good with this car. The blue looks weird. So I don't know what I'm going to pick. I'm probably not going to pick anything at all.
That br that brown colored one looked kind of cool. The beige one. Ooh, the beige. Beige. I like that. I like that a lot. I actually did pick that. It's surprising. I have good tastes. <laughs> I have so good taste, surprisingly. So, yeah. Just looking at the stickers. Randomly. The one with the peace signs and everything on there. That That's, that's kind of cool in a sense. I guess that's cool. But it's kind of expensive. That's cool right there. If it was black. That would be really cool to have on this thing. And that's cool right there too. On the front especially. That's simple and cool. Barely noticeable. And so yeah. I guess that's it. We're going to do a little bit of testing with it. And so I guess that's it for this episode. I'll leave you to the... Just listening to the sound of the rough. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.